Welcome back to No Man's Sky. I am standing here in the space station, getting ready to continue working on patterns in time. I need to locate a Viking system on the galaxy map and uh, talk to a cartographer. I don't precisely remember why. Perhaps if I read it will tell me. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Null seeks to understand more about how the universe came to be in this strange state. How the anomalies we see became so widespread. Null feels the Viking may know more. I should speak with a cartographer and find a helpful contact. Alright, let's go out into space so I can load up the galaxy map. Because apparently you can't do that unless you're out in space which is a little bit irritating but I guess it's fine so I got a comment earlier somebody uh, said you could you can summon your freighter from this this mini map this this menu pop-up menu thing I don't know why I called it a mini map but <laughs> there it is I can summon my freighter I could have just summoned it instead of having to fly it somewhere. I assume it requires warp fuel to do that. Anyway, the galaxy map. I am looking for a Viking system and I'm gonna guess this one that's highlighted here with a mark is a Viking system. Yes it is. Nabrafirm 1. Economy is mathematical. The conflict is destructive. But that's where I need to go. Um, have I been here before? It says I've been here before, but I'm just gonna warp and use up some warp fuel. And here we are. The Nebrafirm system. I have been to this planet. Oh, I I went exploring in this spot. I I think I remember that now. I dug up some ancient bones and uh, sold them for a bunch of money. I spent some time on some diversions, just sort of going from planet to planet. Oops. Okay, I guess. I guess I just go over there. Ah, oh, hostile scan. Submit or perish, interloper. There is no alternative for one as weak as you. How about uh, how about a bargain? If you choose to barter over combat, you are no better than a geck. Fighting you would be unworthy of our skills. Okay, fine. See ya. I think I was saying something before that pirate encounter, and I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, I was, uh... I played some, uh, between story missions. I just kind of ran around charting new planets for a while, and this was one of the systems that I did that in. I kind of enjoy just flying to random planets and wandering around on them to see what's there. Hey, this looks like a Viking cartographer. Agzudnik. <laughs> what a name. Agzudink. Agzudink. The Viking with and and the <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me. As the warrior begins to bark, I feel a strange frequency vibrate through my skull. Begins their bark. 
I see a flash of Null's glowing orb behind my eyes. Suddenly, the Viking's words ring clear in my ears. Oh, pathetic interloper. Prying into Viking secrets. Cowardly spy. I should kill. Oh, but... Traveler must be aided. Such is command of Herc. Prove yourself, interloper. Retrieve the words of Herc. Ascend in Viking glory. Then you shall have your words. I will only reveal this. Location of Herc's command is marked for you. Commune with their words, Graw! <laughs> Graw! Graw! Hey, don't shake your head at me, sir. That's not nice. Collect a Viking artifact from an ancient ruin. Return the artifact to the cartographer to prove your honor. That sounds easy enough. A simple fetch quest. What could be easier? Surely nothing could go wrong here. need to go to find this ancient ruin, I bet. This planet, apparently. Oops, too, too close to the station. The planet Yadhama 14. A tropical planet with ancient bones. And aggressive sentinels. Just what we love to see. Someday I will upgrade my weaponry so that I can actually effectively shoot down sentinels. Whoa, there's some graphical glitchiness going on there. Wow, the ancient ruin is on a very tiny island. You know, I've never tried to land on water. I wonder what would happen if you tried that. Well, there's no sentinels here. Is this a... Oh, it's a knowledge stone. I've learned the Viking word for four. Any others around here? Hmm. There's some urns. Pillars of Mifir, Ancient Ruins. Oh, another knowledge stone. I've learned the Viking word for warrior. Let's look at this Viking plaque. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of Herc commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment and the belief of the ancients. And a superheated rainstorm is emerging. Ancient knowledge passed down through generations of Viking warriors spills from the marker stone, filtering into my mind like a long forgotten memory, hopefully very fast before the storm. I begin to speak and my voice is seized by an unknown power. I roar, taking myself by surprise. None hamper the path toward Drindarg as the Sentinels. They must be destroyed. Their time will be ended. So has it been written, so it shall come to be. This the Vikings swear. I call out once more, my throat harsh and gasping, the sound guttural. The words spill forth, summoned by the power of the monolith. The Book of Herc speaks of the rise of the travelers. They shall ascend, delving into the boundless void. The Viking shall not impede their ascent, for the travelers must prevail. So decrees the word of Herc. As the words fade, their lines still resonating in my vision, I find myself in possession of an ancient tome. And dying in a storm. And 
being attacked by a sentinel. Get in the ship. Can I just get out of here? Am I, uh... Am I in the air? <laughs> I think I'm in the air. I couldn't tell if I'd launched or not. That was weird. Oh my god. So many hostiles. No communication signals? What? Great. Reinforcements arriving. Why the... Are the sentinels following me into space? Are you... like... Are they like space sentinels? Oh, they're... Oh, God, they're killing me. Killing me. Gotta leave. Getting out of here now. Goodbye. See ya. Oh, my God. I don't know who that was, but they're killing me. I assume that was a sentinel of some kind. I don't know. Looks like a Cylon ship. On the display down there. Trying to, I'm trying to use my pulse drive, but I'm, I don't know where to go yet. I assume I'm going back to the space station, which is where? Why can't I find the space station? Ah, oh, there it is. There's a couple of planets in the way. I hope it knows where I'm going. Oh, here we are. <laughs> it was trying to take me to the planet behind there, but it it just happened to stop when I got to the space station, which is where I wanted to go anyway. Perfect. Boy, is this guy going to be surprised when I come back with an artifact? From the great and powerful Herc. You didn't think I could get an artifact, did you? Nala wished for me to visit the Viking and learn what I could. Of the Atlas, the creator of all universes, the Sentinels, rebellious hunters of anomalies, and the travelers who committed some unforgivable act long ago. I will hand over my tablet. Oh, you have communed with Herc. You are worthy, interloper. Make your request. Be bold! Uh, well, I want... All three of those, actually. What is this thing that he's carrying on his hologram? I've just noticed this creepy spinning... Looks like a rubber ducky without the beak. I'll ask about the Atlas. Oh, do not speak that name. Only pathetic beings worship the liar Atlas. Uh, what about pathetic beings? The crimes of the Grek will not be forgotten. Obliterated Corvax homeworld, enslaved the synthetics, and melted them down for nanite clusters. Their so-called first spawn summoned back the sentinels with their brutality and barbarism. Grr! What about the Viking? Any being that claims to be a god is not one, interloper. Progenitor Herc knew this well. Battle brother Nal did not. They died for a false dream. Okay. The Viking tells me of their history, of wars with the Gek, of Korvac slaves and Tyrannous empires. 
The Viking suggests that if the Atlas is a god, then it is insane. Ty Tyrannus Empires. Is that spelled correctly? I don't know. I feel like tyrannical would have been the right word there. And not this weird form of that word. I am about to leave when I notice something on the Viking's terminal. Two digits blinking endlessly. They feel familiar. Is it 16? I... What? What? Interloper. What face are... The Viking is visibly pained by my mention of the number, staring at their terminal as if they have seen it for the first time. Their words slur, a strange sound entering every sentence. I'm in the Matrix, aren't I? This is all a fabrication. It's all a computer simulation. I, whoops, okay, I think it switched my quest for some weird reason. Uh, okay. Going back to patterns in time. Speak to a Corvax cartographer. Another one? Did I, did I fail this mission? Find cartographers on board a space station. Okay. That's confusing. Oh, that was a cool looking ship. Looked like a giant gun. <laughs> oh, there's one right there, I think. It's just a giant, it's like a cigar ship. It's a 1950s alien cigar ship. That's pretty. Pretty odd. There's some odd looking spaceships in this game. That one looks like a helicopter. One day I will buy a new ship. Someday. Uh, do I have anything I want to sell? Nah, no, not really. I bought some wiring looms. I don't remember if I mentioned that at the last space station because, uh,. I always need those for things, so I just bought some while I was here. So if I go out in space, will it will it tell me where to go, or am I supposed to just randomly find another Viking system on my own? Or should I go to the Space Anomaly and share my Viking revelations with Nada? Because apparently I do that after every stage of every quest. Where is that Space Anomaly? I thought it was right around here somewhere. Well, let's call it. Yeah, I'm just floating all over the place because I can't get situated here. <laughs> I'll just fly right through that rock. That'll be fine. Landed. Oh, I gotta go check on my dog. Okay, I think the animals are straightened out. The dog's back inside. She's eating some food. The cat is lurking around somewhere, though. She might cause trouble soon. Nada, I have news about the Viking. Life is everywhere, but nowhere. The Convergence has seen all planets, but where are they really? Where is home? Where is safe? This is a pattern, traveler friend. All things are patterns, signs of the Atlas falsity. Uh... Uh, tell me about the Corvax. 
Korvax see across the universe with countless convergent eyes, minds in harmony, worship Atlas falsity. Oh, the Korvax worship the Atlas? But to understand Atlas falsity is the edge of our collective mind. Nada does not wish to go to that edge, and so Nada is divergent. Nada is exiled, hunted, no place for the willful. Hmm, I only get to ask one question of Nada. Can you interpret that specialist polo? Gek are always competitive, always squabble. It is not personal. My person is not rejected, but Nada, poor Nada suffers. What do you know about the Korvax? Their kind expect harmony and unity. Nada sees in a way they do not see, and so they reject poor Nada. Convergence was bought at a great cost. They will fight to maintain it. Anomalies are cast aside, the necessary sacrifice. Okay, oh, I just noticed he's got like glasses on, it looks like. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I notice. He's got like little, they got lids on their glasses. Like he can flip them down and like cover his eyes completely. That's odd. What an odd set of glasses you have. Oh, can I just, I could just walk out this way and just jump down, couldn't I? Why does it look like there's another panel over here? Nope, it's all just the Nexus. I thought maybe this this display here was some kind of interactable. What missions does the Nexus have today? Skeletal Legacy, I remember that. Oh, 15 wiring loom. Darn! Man, I ought to do that. That's, that's, I mean, that's worth 15 wiring looms. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do a little side trip here. And, uh, I'll just, uh, do this really quick. Mission started Skeletal Legacy. This is the same mission I did before, which was pretty easy, actually. I feel like I should be able to just go down to a planet that's like right here and get this done in no time. Oh, I just smashed into a rock. Potential burial sites located. Is there one right there? Yes, there is. Oh. Bone rich planet. Let's go this way. And here we are. Target planet reached. So I'm going to do this for a few minutes. I will, uh,. I don't think I need to record this because it's basically just, you know, wandering around digging up holes. Landing sequence unavailable. What the what? Yeesh, what is up with that? Oh, I almost landed on top of a spiky rock. Collect epic or legendary bones. All right, I am now in search of ancient relics. What the hell? I, I dug a hole down and then I landed in this cave and the bones are ho hovering up there in the air somehow. What in the heck is going on here? That was hardly fair. <laughs> it just went flying down there. Yes! I got Grubby Bones! It's a rare item. Finally, I got the bones I need. There was another... 
There was another set here too. Just like, there it is. Let me grab these too in case it's anything amazing. Oh, it's a rare, bizarre skeleton, approximately 1,834 years old. That's gonna be worth a lot of loot. One million. And 118,000. Where's the other one? Did I not get it because my inventory's full? There's the grubby bones. There's a bizarre sky. Okay, it's fine. Let me get out of here. We're out of here. Heading back to the uh, space station to sell. I mean, to the space anomaly and then to the space station to sell this stuff. Before I head back to the space anomaly, I'm going to sell the yellowed partial skeleton, the ancient skeletal fragments, and the imperfect bone fragments to make room in my inventory for whatever my rewards are going to be. Because it would be just my luck to get rewards and then find out I had no inventory space and then have all my rewards lost. You know, this, it just occurred to me, this Nexus looks a lot. It has a lot of the same aesthetic as Wildstar did. I wonder if any of the same people worked on this. Because it, it really looks, has the same sort of color scheme, the same sort of uh, visual aspect. I don't know. I have to look that up sometime. All right. Complete the mission. Skeletal legacy. Wiring looms 15. Nice. I hope they stack. They do stack to 20. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now back to what I was doing before that. Uh, I was going to look for another Corvac system or Viking system. No, a Corvac system. It wants me to find a Corvac system this time. So I'm guessing I need to find a cartographer from every species. That would be my guess. Uh, I don't care about the fugitive ship. Where do I need to go? On the galaxy map. Back to Gusvarv. Do I have enough warp fuel? I guess I do. I'm gonna run out of warp fuel pretty soon, I bet. I believe this was another sh uh, system that I um, charted. No, it wasn't, because that planet is unknown. <laughs> Parched planet with cactus flesh. There's another unknown planet. Scanner's recharging. All right, I guess I'll go talk to a cartographer. I feel like there's going to be a pattern in the uh, the nature of this mission as compared to the last mission. He's going to ask me to go find some ruins and bring back some sort of artifact. And you know, now that I think about it, I actually meant to take this Viking tablet and put it in my exosuit inventory and then sell it <laughs> or something. It's not worth that much though. 
Hey, cartographer Riglast. Cartographic entity. Blah, 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 blah. Outpost. Blah, 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 Tell me about your history. Once again, I sense Null's presence. If the Corvax feels it too, they do not show it. They begin to speak, their words clear and bright, processed by my unseen companion. The arrival of Traveler is anticipated, but you are not ready yet. We must know that you are the one we seek. There is an anomaly. <laughs> there is an anomaly, a glitch. It is guarded by holes through which the Convergence cannot see. Move through this space. Retrieve that which cannot be retrieved. Well, that sounds easy enough. Retrieve non-existent data from an anomalous structure. Uh, what? Say what now? Um, are any of you guys Vikings by any chance? You are. I feel like I can give stuff to Vikings. I don't understand what you're saying, but it sounds bad. I will... Oh, I can't give you the gift. Isn't that what I have? I thought that's what I had, was a Viking effigy. Oh, I still got bones to sell. What did I have? Oh, it's a tablet. Um, it doesn't really seem to have any use other than selling. So I'm gonna sell that and some bones. Selling some grubby bones. Selling a bizarre skeleton and a Viking tablet. Yes, I'm over six million units now. I might actually be able to buy a new gun. That would be amazing. <laughs> That's a weird looking ship. Looks like a bug ship. Voice of the Ugawas, starship of pure entity Xenosob. <laughs> Are you pure entity Xenosob? How much does a ship like this set you back? How much for this ship? What? Holy crap, it's only 1,565,000. It's a Class A ship. It has better shield strength, better hyperdrive drive range, more slots. Darn. I could, wow, I could easily afford that. It looks kind of dorky though. I don't think I want that. <laughs> I don't want that bug looking ship. I want a cool ship. Oh, this is a cool looking ship. Starship unoccupied. Hey, how much for your ship? Your ship looks much cooler. It's only class B though. Ooh, that's a four million unit ship there. Huh. Okay. I see how it is. All right, let's go find a non-existent data from an anomalous structure. As if that makes any sense. Oh, we have an incoming message from Artemis. I've been thinking about you, about Apollo. I'm so happy. What do you want to do first when we meet? Um, we'll fly together. I think, I think that will be quite a thing. I found parts, you know, components I might be able to craft into a ship. I don't know if it'll fly, but I'll do what I can. I'll see you soon. I can't wait. 
Artemis leaves, still unsure that their world is a simulation. I could not bring myself to tell them. But for now, my path is clear. I must seek out the Corvax. I must continue my quest for knowledge. <laughs> poor Artemis. <laughs> ah, poor guy. I'm just stringing him along. High temperature planet. There's selenium there. All right, let's see. Where's the marker? It's on this planet right in front of me. Fragmented memory. Is this underwater? Rasama Tau is the name of this planet. No, that's just ice? Wait. Oh, that is water. Holy crap. Is this... Is this thing actually underwater? That could be a problem for me. Can I land on water? I don't feel like I can land on water. There's nothing to land on around here. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen if I land on water. Am I going to lose my ship? I'm going to try it. Unable to initiate landing. Landing area is not clear. That's because it's covered with water. Well, this is a dilemma. Okay, there are some islands there. I mean, I guess we can land here. And swim out there. This will be interesting. External temperature, 166.1. Huh. Oh, wow. There's some bug creatures flying around here. What? Oh man, there's some freakish looking animals in this game. It looks like I don't even know what it looks like. It looks like Wadu a little bit. <laughs> Man, this place is devoid. Wait, now it's minus 113? It was... How far away is that? 687 units. Man, that's a long way away. Oh, cool. Oh, so if I just stay in the water, I'll be fine. Apparently, the water is the appropriate temperature. But as soon as I get out of the water, it's minus 113. Damn, that's some crazy weather there. Oh, are you kidding me? Can I be protected from that while I'm in the water. I have a feeling I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna get killed for sure. I'm gonna lose everything. This is it. This is where I die again. Man, I should have bought that underwater upgrade for my suit. I was at a space station. I was looking at that thinking, man, that would be really handy next time I need to go underwater. But then I was like, eh, I don't need to go underwater that much. That'd just be a waste of money. And here I am. Exactly in the position where I need it. Let's put some oxygen in here. Whoa, what is that? Oh, those are some ships flying overhead. How far away are we? I can't move the mouse pointer up to see how far away the marker is. Uh, 
at least I'm protected from the firestorm. That's pretty cool. It's a nice bonus. Very shallow ocean in this on this planet. I'm getting closer. It's taking a long time to swim out here. How deep is it down there, I wonder? I see something down there. I see some sort of structure. Oh man, that seems really deep. I don't know if I can make it down there and back without drowning. Looks really deep. It looks super deep. Looks like an underwater. Uh... Oh, there's an eyeball down there. What the hell? I don't like the look of that at all. Oh god! Tap to flee. Get me out of there. Okay, I don't. I don't like that. I think I want to go back up. Uh... That was frightening. Get me back out. Ugh. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I have the, uh... The oxygen for this. Do I have to shoot those things? Can I do that? get into this place. There's a glare on the... I mean, I can try to shoot it. Abyssal Horror is what it's called. I don't think I'm doing any damage to it. Am I not close enough? I'm hitting it, but I'm not doing any damage to it. Okay, well this is a this is an issue. Oxygen level is critical. Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Quick. 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 Quicker. Faster. Huh. Well, I am perplexed. I feel like I might need to upgrade my systems a bit before I come back here and tackle this. I might need a bigger gun. <laughs> I might need some better underwater systems. An abyssal horror. Huh. Well, uh, I guess I'll head back to my ship. Because I don't think I can do anything here. I am sure glad these fish are not hostile. That looks like a sentinel. <laughs> Sentinels hovering over the water. Like a blowfish or something. Extreme night okay, let's just get in the ship. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode because I don't know what to do to tackle this obstacle. I guess I'm going to have to upgrade my my uh, underwater oxygen supply, maybe upgrade my guns, maybe find a different gun, maybe find another weapon that works underwater, that works on abyssal horrors. I know there's a bunch of different kinds of gun upgrades, 
in addition to the bolt caster, there's like plasma guns and some other kind of guns. So I guess I'll uh, see see if I can investigate those and see what I find. But that's going to do it for now. See you later.